Hey guys, welcome back to Abandonware Adventures, and in this episode we're gonna be playing some SimCity 1 in DOS. Uh, well, if you hear some music in the background, I put that in in post because I couldn't really figure out if there was supposed to be music in this game or not, but for your benefit, I decided to look up SimCity 1 music, and I'm pretty sure this is at least SimCity classic music, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, SimCity's always been known for its kind of urban sort of funk kind of music, and this sounds uh, really, really nice. So I thought I should put that in for your benefit, but it is not entirely 100% original experience, so that music is not part of this game that I'm playing right now. So, if you want to see me play any other abandoned wear, just uh, let me know what you want in the comment section down below. As long as it's free, it's downloadable, it's complete, and it is unsupported by the original developers. So, here we are playing SimCity. Now, I remember I played SimCity maybe once when I was a kid at a friend's house. I think, but really I'm a SimCity 2000 and onwards fan, and I played SimCity 2000 for a long time. So let's go ahead and jump straight into starting a new city. Um, SimCity, my city's name is gonna be Gamersville, and I'm gonna be playing on easy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yes, let's go ahead, uh, Gamersville, uh, easy, and that should be good, I'm guessing. Uh, I, I don't really want a hard experience. G generally, when you increase the difficulty, it just means you start with less money. Let's just jump right in, it's now terraforming, and here we have it. And uh, let's make uh, this window a little bit bigger, <laughs> there we go. So um, now, let's see, how do we open up the map? I want to see the... The full map, your maps. Okay, so this is the map that we're on. So let's pick a starting location. Um, somewhere where we got quite a bit of land to work with, but also uh, I, I like starting in the corner, really. So I'm going to start in this top left corner because uh, uh, I think it'll be easy to manage. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, always put industry down and everything. We got zoning here. Oh, this, this. More residential zones needed. Okay, let's start with the, the power plant. We're gonna put a, a nuclear power plant. We did start with a lot of money, so let's go ahead and start with the expensive one. Uh, we're gonna put down a road. Uh, listen to those sound effects. They're so, they're so staticky and so raw. Uh, but we're just gonna build this road out this way. And I'm gonna put down some zoning here. Uh, and just see how things go. So actually, this is going to take some time, so I'm going to skip ahead here. I'm going to put down my zoning and show you what I have in mind. Okay, here, here's what I've got. So I know junctions can cause a lot of traffic, so... Um, I've only played this a bit, by the way, just to make sure the game's actually working. So I got my power plant here, my nuclear power plant. I got my industrial zone here, and then my commercial with some room to expand here and my residential's all over here by the water. So it's looking really, really nice, and no junction so far, so this should work out pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and get the speed uh, up to fast here, and see things move in. Oh, we gotta get that going. Actually, we're just gonna... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that first. Here's our uh, CRI indicator for the commercial, residential, and industrial desirability. And as you can see, even from SimCity 5, a lot of the mechanics and a lot of the concepts go all the way back to this game, which I'm pretty sure was made in 1989. Oh, there's still some traffic there. Really? It's a straight road. You guys... Uh, people don't know how to drive, do they? Uh, <laughs> uh, but there we go, congratulations, your village has grown to town status, you now have 2,000 citizens! Oh, look at that, 2,000 people living there. Oh, let's uh, get some uh, power over to that side of the road. So tax rates at 7%, and uh, we're spending $41 on, um, uh, on, on transportation. We don't have a police or fire department yet, but we should be able to get that soon once our uh, income goes up a little bit once people start moving in. So, uh, I should probably put down the, the police department and the fire department right here in the middle. Um, I'll put fire uh, police down on this side, and I'll put fire department up here. And it seems like my plan of having just one straight road is failing miserably, because uh, it's still causing a lot of traffic going between this place. But at least this commercial district should get a lot of... Oh, jeez. The traffic's getting really, really bad. 
But never mind, we're, we're just gonna run with it. Looks like uh, it's asking for a bit more commercial zoning here. There we go. And possibly a bit more residential as well. There we go. So we, we probably put down way too much industrial, but we'll, we'll go with that for now. So this is a big mess, but never mind, we're just gonna go with it. And as you can see, the police and fire department, the, we're losing money now because we have to fund those things, but we're gonna keep the funding at 100% to, to put that down. Traffic warning, traffic in this city is expanding, the commuters are getting militant, highway shootings are on the rise, either build more roads and rails or get a bulletproof limo. I'm not exactly sure how to solve this problem, uh, possibly the solution is building more roads. So I'm just gonna build a road going down this way and see if we can divert some of the traffic to go around this block. And maybe just, I don't know what that noise was. Ah, that sounded horrible. <laughs> uh, so maybe they can take this alternate route. I can't keep my mouse straight. There we go. Now, I don't think that's actually gonna do anything, but we're gonna roll with it. Uh, and it seems like they're still asking for more residential and commercial zoning here. So we're gonna put some of this down. Maybe this commercial will attract the drivers who drive around this side. I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, it's actually asking for more industrial. Uh, but we got plenty of extra zoning there, so that, that should be fine. And ah, there we go. Our cash flow is looking uh, a bit better. We're pretty much breaking even. And uh, we're just gonna keep going on this. And basically my ultimate goal is to build an airport and uh, uh, a seaport. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do that like really well or anything, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna try my best and see if we can get to that point of the game. Oh, there we go. Your town has grown into a full-size city with a current population of 10,000 people. Keep up the good work. And as you can see, I basically took my straight road design and added another straight road on the bottom. And we're starting to make some money. Uh, transportation, police and fire department are all fully funded on the default tax rate of 7%. Now let's have a look at... Um, ooh, crime alert. Crime in your city is out of hand. Angry mobs are looting and vandalizing the central city. The president will send in the National Guard soon if you cannot control the problem. Um, let's have a look at our... Uh, let's see, evaluation. Is the mayor doing a good job? 71% says yes, that's good. The big po problems are pollution, housing costs, taxes, and traffic. And that's strange, they're not really concerned about that crime they were talking about. Uh, but never mind. Um, I could put down another police department, but that might be a bit too expens uh, expensive at this point. So I'm just going to keep expanding my zoning here. And seems like commercial is back in demand, so let's put another row of that over here and I really like the way my city's been laid out uh, it, it's really organized just having the commercial in the middle residential on the right industrial on the left perhaps industrial should have been near the water because um, uh, that's maybe where the seaport's gonna be going but I'm not too sure uh, I really don't know what's best in this sort of system so I'm gonna keep expanding looks like uh, these CRI index just keeps jumping up and down. I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, but I'll try my best. And we're starting to make some money, so I'm going to go with these figures and uh, just keep going, really. All right, it's, as it's saying inadequate rail system, but uh, I don't actually know how this rail system works. It doesn't seem like you have to put any kind of rail or train stops. I just put this rail at the back here and I have no idea if it's helping or hurting or... <laughs> well, these old games doesn't, don't really have really good visual feedback, but... Uh, or tutorials for that matter. But there you, there you have it. Uh, I, have a, I have a train or some kind of tram going around the back of this. I'm not sure if it's helping at all, but the traffic seems like it's worse than ever. Uh, the simulation seems to actually be lagging at this point, but our city's grown quite a lot. If we have a look at uh, the window and look at the map, see, we've actually taken over this entire left corner. And this map's actually huge considering uh, how, how little space we've already taken up. I mean, I know in SimCity 5, some maps are, uh, will only be able to fit about this much, really. <laughs> ah, SimCity 5. But um, it's looking good, and I don't think I'll be making enough money to uh, get the airport up and running. But I do, I'm curious about the seaport. How, how do I build the seaport? Do I just put it 
like over here on the water? No? Do I put it in the water? No. Do I have to find like a flat bit of land? I'm not sure. It just makes that horrible noise every time I, I click it. Uh, well maybe it can fit over... Oh, there we go. We are still making some money. Maybe it can fit over here? No? 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 Well, here's a bit of flat land over here. Let, let's find out how this works. Is it on the land? Oh, it's, it's actually on the land. Let's demolish that. And now we have no money left. Okay, so I'm gonna... Uh, well... Okay. <laughs> oh, I wish there was an undo button, but we're just gonna leave that rubble there as a reminder. So, uh, basically, this is how the game works. Um, and it really does seem to be lagging out here. Uh, but uh, I, I actually remember playing this long, long time ago at a friend's house. And uh, it, it it's nowhere near as good as SimCity 2000. So really, if you're going to get into SimCity, go ahead and get SimCity 2000. It's a much, much better game. But for this week of Abandon and Wear Adventures, I just wanted to check this out to see how the game really was to remind myself uh, that this is where SimCity all started and maybe to show you guys, since some of you would have played SimCity 5, to show you where the game all started. And it looks pretty much like this. Uh, honestly, um... SimCity 2000 was a huge, huge step up, so I might actually want to play that game. It's also got some fantastic music too. That's one thing SimCity always gets right. The music. The music's always good. Uh, but for now, it seems like my simulation is grinding to a halt in <laughs> DOSBox here, so I am probably sh uh, should be ending this video right about now. I think you guys get the idea of how SimCity 1 really was. So, if you'd like to see me play any more Abandoned Wear, uh, just let me know down in the comments section below. And that's about it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Looks like we're still making money. And I'll see you in the next video.